This is going to be a very quick video on the different operating modes of the Bulldog controller. So one thing that you can always do with the Bulldog controller if you're having trouble with it is to unplug the power and then press the power button down, plug the power button in and hold it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You need to make sure it's at least 10 seconds. This will reset the controller. Once the controller is reset, you should always be able to open and close the Bulldog by pressing the button. Make sure both connectors are firmly plugged in. To use an external leak sensor or switch to control the Bulldog, use a 2.5 millimeter jack and plug it in to the side. This is just a standard switch. The two conductors inside the, the wire are wired through the switch. In standard operating mode, when the two switches short, this will close the bulldog. If you try to open the bulldog with the st switch still shorted, it won't open. So now the bulldog is closed the switch is still shorted, it won't open. If we unshort the switch, we can open the Bulldog again. To place the Bulldog in relay contact mode, and relay contact mode is where the operation of the Bulldog will now be controlled by your switch. To place the Bulldog into relay contact mode, disconnect the power, hold down the power button, reconnect the power, and then hold the power button down for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. So the Bulldog should now be in relay contact mode. The button should no longer close the Bulldog. As you can see, it doesn't. The relay contact switch will now both open and close the Bulldog. So here it is closing. And here it is opening. If you ever get confused about what mode your Bulldog is in, or you're having trouble with how it's operating, you can always reset it back to a factory default at any time by pulling out the power, holding down the button, pressing in the power, and holding down the button for 10 seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The Bulldog is reset, now the button works again.